I'm gonna be quiet because my girlfriend is upstairs sleeping still. It's 4.15. 4.15 in the morning, who the fuck gets up this early? And, yeah, this guy. Yeah. You need to eat? You hungry? Hmm? You're dying? You starving to death? It's 4.15 in the morning, I gotta get up. Feed these guys and try to go find some snow. So, you might be thinking, it's not a lot of snow, right? And it's 24 degrees down here right now. It's way too fucking cold, first of all. But it's negative five up in Rangeley, which is also way too fucking cold. So, like you saying, is there even any snow up there? Because, I mean, look around here, like, look at this. That's what we got for snow around here. But, uh, why not go in here? So, 4.30, let's get this ride going. Not getting anywhere by sitting here. Hi, welcome to Dunkin' Donuts, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a large ice black? Unfortunately, due to supplies, we do not have any large ice cups, so I think it's like a do with a medium. Okay, then. I thought you were going to say you didn't have any coffee. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we have the coffee, we just don't have the cups. Okay, so, then I will have a, uh, a medium ice black. Medium ice black? Yeah. Is that it? And can I get a uh, cinnamon raisin bagel with uh, strawberry cream cheese? Cinnamon raisin bagel toasted with strawberry cream cheese? Yes, please. Is that it for you today? Yeah, that's it. 769 at the window. Thank you. I guess I better make sure that I have my wallet with me. I mean, that'll be pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Get my wallet. I had to start drinking black coffee about two years ago. And let me tell you something. People can talk all the shit they want about Dunkin' Donuts. But when you start drinking black coffee, you realize who's making decent coffee and and who's just hiding behind creamers and sweeteners. coffee time to hit the road 4:43 in the morning so from the time I woke up to the time I'm actually getting on the road took 45 minutes which is a little longer than I had hoped but that's okay still takes three hours to get there so you know if I stay straight don't make any stops or anything I should be there by 8 o'clock maybe on the trails by 8 30 or 9 we'll see but I won't be doing any more recording until there's a little more sunlight and I don't have to use this light in the truck. So, I'll check in soon. All right, 6 a.m. Time to make another stop for coffee. Hopefully this place actually has the large cups. That's fucking crazy. 4.30 in the morning in Portsmouth, New Hampshire that a place doesn't have large sorry due to a supply issue we don't have any large 
coffee cups. Like, I assume they just hadn't gotten their truck yet for the day, right? That has to be the case. Like, they ran out of all of their large coffee cups yesterday. Hopefully this place does. Let's find out. Good morning, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a large iced, uh, large black iced coffee? Okay, anything else? Uh, that's it, thank you. Uh, that's $3.99, thank you. Ooh. Lot more snow up here. Lot more snow, which is good. It's a good look. I mean, I'm sure that most of it's frozen, but. This lady just sitting here. She's like checking her, checking her Facebook and her Instagram or something. Not even caring. That I've just pulled up to the window. Oh, here we go. Two people doing one person's job. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, you as well. All right. Back on the road, it's 6 a.m., so I'm an hour and 15 minutes or so into this drive. Sun's not quite up yet. In fact, the sun's not even close to up yet. I mean, you know, it's probably about, maybe in about 30 minutes there might be a little bit of daylight. I can see a little bit of daylight over on the horizon over there, but still get about another half hour of driving in the dark, I think and probably another, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half before I'm actually arriving in Rangeley. So I will check in maybe when there's a little more daylight. All right, so it's uh, just a few minutes before seven right now and uh, been on the road for a little more than two hours and about half an hour still outside of Rangeley. So getting there and uh, I just checked the weather and it is currently one degree in Rangeley. One degree above what? One degree above zero. One degree. So it's gonna be pretty cold when I get there. Uh, but that's okay. I got hand warmers and toe warmers and body warmers and all sorts of warm clothes. So uh, I'm really excited because our plow guy uh, couldn't do the driveways, couldn't plow the driveways. So getting, uh, getting Ruby free uh, should be uh, that should be a fun little trip all by itself so we'll see how the morning goes if I get there at 730 and I can get Ruby free by 830 or so that'll be good and uh, my goal today is to just make it to uh, Coburn Mountain it takes a you know someone told me it takes about two and a half three hours to get there uh, I did it once before a long time ago and I seem to remember it taking like six hours to get there But uh, maybe I can do it a little faster today. So we'll see I'll ride for a while and, and if I make it I make it and if not then oh well I'll turn around and come back home and I'll still have a nice day of snowmobiling Made it Made it Made it just before 730 I'm tired long drive that's a long drive uh, to make in one shot but I'm here and the snow is uh, there's plenty of snow and the driveways don't look so bad so it actually should be pretty easy to get Ruby out I think that I'm going to do that part and uh, then I'm gonna take a fucking nap <laughs> I don't care uh, if it is a if that's a, a sign of my age or not but uh, I think I might uh, you know, maybe lay down for 30 or 45 minutes or something like that before I hit the trails. Because I think the worst part, you know, what would be what much worse is to be around out there around like noon or one o'clock and be like, I'm just going to take a nap on the side of the trail here in this in this 10 degree weather or whatever it's supposed to be today. So let me get Ruby free and then hit the trails. All right, so I'm getting ready to hit the trails. Snowmobile came out just fine. Everything's good to go there. Got my gear here. I got these are my my climb base layer. I got my climb race pant, climb jacket, climb helmet. I love climb gear. Climb gear is great, uh, but super expensive. So I've also got these 32 degree is 
the brand name, 32 degree. I'm gonna try those out today. Try out the base layer pant and the base layer shirt and hopefully they work good. Uh, it's nine degrees. It's all the way up to a sweltering nine degrees outside. So um, I want to attach this GoPro to my helmet, but every time I do when it's this cold out, the battery just fucking dies. So I will wait uh, maybe an hour or two before I hook the helmet up, unless I see something really cool that I like want to, you know, catch on video. So here we go. So, as is always the case, I haven't been very good about taking video, stopping to take video. I've seen plenty today. Trails have been great, flat and fast and hard pack, which the hard pack is great for speed, but it wreaks havoc on my engine. But other than that, ah, it's been a pretty damn good day. I've made it to Grand Falls. It's only, what, 12 o'clock? A little after 12 o'clock right now, so i got a little ways to go to Coburn Mountain. So, temperatures are fucking cold. i got to stop about every 10 or 15 miles to warm up my hands, despite uh, insulated gloves, hand warmers, and heated grips on the snowmobile, so. But, it's been a good day, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting to Coburn Mountain. Hopefully in the next uh, 30 or 45 minutes I might be there.
but well worth the ride. Well worth the day off of work. Holy shit. day snow was great um, as usual I did not get nearly enough video or pictures or anything I spent most of the day just riding and honestly I mean I don't know if I could have anyways it was a it was 75 miles each way so 150 miles in total and it took like six hours to do it all so um, six or seven hours to do it all so there wasn't really a lot of time to be stopping and filming anything but Definitely next trip will be uh, a little more localized so that I can stop and do some filming stuff. So I got the truck warming up and I'll be heading home soon for my one day trip to Rangeley. <laughs>